So there are two main ways we can figure out which element here on the periodic table is represented by this electron configuration that ends in 3d 10 4s 1. The first thing we could just count up all of these electrons. So when we do that, we end up with 29 total electrons here in this configuration. Since all of the elements on the periodic table are neutral, that means they don't have a negative or a positive sign after them. We know that the atomic number, the number of protons, will equal the number of electrons. So we just find atomic number 29 here, that's copper. So this is the element that represents this electron configuration ending in 3d10 4s1. We could write this in abbreviated or condensed notation. Right now it's in the long form notation for electron configurations. The way we do that is we find the noble gas before copper. So copper is 29, we go back, and here's 18 argon. So instead of writing all 18 of these electrons, we could just write AR in brackets. And that would look like this. So this is our condensed notation. Do note that often you'll see the 4s before the 3d. Just something to be aware of. You should also note that copper is an exception in terms of electron configurations. We normally would have 4s2, 3d9. Copper, that's a little bit different. There's a link in the description to help you understand why that is. And this is one of the common exceptions that you'll see on exams. Let's take a look at the periodic table broken up into element blocks. So if we look for these last electrons here, these are the valence electrons for copper outside our noble gas core here. We could look at the periodic table. We go 1s1, 1s2, s is full with 2, 2s2, then 2p, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, p is full with 6, 3s2, 3p6. Here's the 4s2, and we would expect that we could just count up to 10, 3d10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But if we do that, let's look back at our periodic table with element symbols. We find zinc. So this is why we say copper is an exception. We've moved one of our electrons in the 4s2 back to the 3d9. So copper, it doesn't follow that general pattern. It is an exception and probably a good one to learn. So those are two ways to figure out the element represented by this electron configuration, the 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d10, 4s1. But since copper is an exception, you have to be very careful. We've moved an electron from the 4s2 to the 3d9. We filled that 3d orbital there, so it's 10, very stable. This is Dr. V. Thanks for watching.